We started the day with dino news, now let's move on to more science news. I'm Elliot Morgan. I'm Joe Beretta. This is Swords Vet. Science! It's Tuesday, which is the perfect time to recap all the happenings. Big or small. In the world of science. Warning, some of it's gonna be boring. And some of it is really freaking cool, like how news is in general. Let's start with the lame and work our way across the Roy G. Biv science spectrum of awesomeness. And then at the end, you will decide what you think is the coolest chunk of knowledge you've been pelted with. Speaking of pelting, here's a headline. Bullet hole found in ISS solar panel. What? A bullet hole? What, is there some kind of Martian zipping around space, rat a tat tat in our space goodies? Is there some sort of Batmobile-esque UFO cruising around, avenging the endless depth of that starry void? No, there's not. Because it's not an actual bullet hole from a bullet. It's just an exaggerated news headline we would know. Yeah. It's a hole from most likely space junk or man-made space litter. On the Roy G. Biff sliding scale of awesomeness, this bullet hole falls squarely into the Roy category. Roy's are always lame. Let's move on to G, as in G, I could use some space news that doesn't bore me to weightless tears. New images from a spacecraft orbiting Saturn show the most detailed view ever of a giant hurricane that's just flipping, hovering on Saturn's North Pole with nowhere to go due to being in a six-sided vortex. The eye of this giant amazing hurricane is 1,250 miles wide. And that's just the eye. The outer winds of this otherworldly monstrosity are spinning around at 330 miles an hour, literally destroying every Saturn mobile home community in its wake. Don't worry, Saturn Bill Paxson is okay. And scientists are studying the Saturn storm so soon someone sees similarities inside Sur Surricane. Exactly, Joe. This science news falls squarely into G. That was fun. Now, let's round out this colorful bouquet with our Biv story. What does the B in Biv stand for, Joe? Uh, duh. It stands for blue, which is the color of the ocean. And fish communicate using sign language. Killer transition. Thank you. For the very first time ever, it's been found that certain types of fish, namely the grouper and coral trout, use sign language or gestures to help each other in their hunting processes. This is the first time a non-primate or a non-raven has been found to use these types of gestures. Oh, and uh, not only do they use gestures, they team up with other animals, like eels and octopuses, respectively. This is freaking crazy. So which gestures do they use? Probably not these hand gestures that I alluded to earlier in the story, because fish don't have hands, they fish. Is it the same gesture they use when I catch one on my hook and the fish gesture gestures like, hey, don't eat me, and then I gesture back, I'm gonna eat you, and it kind of wriggles, and I throw it in my bucket? Kind of. They take their heads and they point them toward their prey. Ah, knew it. They will rotate their bodies so that their heads are downward, and then they will shake their heads back and forth in the direction of their next victim. This is called a headstand by researchers, not by fish. That would be a big development, though. If, if scientists were watching the fish, and one of the fish just turned to the scientist and goes, this is a headstand, that'd be pretty crazy. Yeah, that'd be big. That would be what we would be talking about right that now. That would be, that would go into the infrared mm -hmm. level of the science. We wouldn't have even talked about that other stuff. We would yeah. have been like, dude, fish talk. Fish talk. Yeah. So which one of these in the Roy G. Biv scale of awesome did you like the most? Let us know in the comments down below. And hey, while you're down there, like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the annotation if you want to watch more videos. Also, take this video, comment on it. If you watch it, you will contract, well, get it coming on it. And then share it using your Facebook, Tumblr, or Twitter, and all the sort of social network stuff. My name is Elliot Morgan. My name is Joe Beretta. Have a good one. Goodbye.